All right, guys, in this video, we are going to display the detailed view of a single video. And here's how it's going to work. Right now, we just have an array of videos in the video center component. We send this as an input to the video list component, and then it is being displayed inside the video list component. But now, when we click on a video, let's send an event as output from video list to video center and that event contains information about the clicked video. So we will capture this video in video center component and send it as an input again but this time to the video detail component where we will display the list or sorry the details using angular and html. Now why are we doing this? because this is good programming practice. So stick till the end of this video and this will make much more sense. All right, for the first step, we are going to send an event from the video list to the video center and capture that selected video center component. So I'm gonna go back to Visual Studio Code and over here in video list.html or video list component HTML, we are going to bind the click event on this particular list item. So click, now what happens when it is clicked? You're going to say fire the handler on select and pass in the video. So when this particular list item is clicked, you're going to fire the on select method passing in the current video. Next in video list component TypeScript file, we are going to do a couple of things. The first one is import component on init and also the event emitter class. And then we are also going to specify that this particular component has an output. So after inputs, put a comma and then outputs. Now this is going to have an event, let's name this select video. So this is the event that is going to get fired. Now over here inside the class, we are going to first get an instance of the event emitter class. So public select video. So public select video, this is going to be equal to a new event emitter class. And then we are going to define the handler on select. So this right here has to be defined. So over here, I'm going to say on select. This is going to have a parameter. Let's call this width of type video. And then again, I need to import this. So let me hover over this and then import video. Now, within the pair of curly braces, we are going to say this dot select video dot emit. And what are we emitting? The video that was just clicked. So right now, when the user clicks on a particular video, we are sending out an event with, that, with the information about that particular video. Now let's go back to video center component and capture this event. So in video center dot component dot HTML in video list selector, we're going to say there is an event select video that will be raised by video list. So when this event is raised, we're going to call a method on select video and we are going to pass the event. So now that we are capturing this select video event, let's go to videocenter.component.ts and then access that particular video. So again, we are going to have a property. This is going to be called selected video. This is of type video. And then we are going to define the method. So on select video is going to take in a video of type any. 
and then this dot selected video is equal to the video that was just passed and then we will we will also just log this to the console so right now we have achieved two things the first one is from video list component we are sending an event select video so this is going to contain information about the clicked video and then back in video center component we are capturing that select video event and then assigning it to a property called selected video so the video which was clicked by the user is currently available in video center component so the last step is to send this back as input to video detail comp component where we are going to display all the different details so now to pass it as an input to the video detail component back here in video center component html we are going to use property data binding again so this time we are going to pass in a single video now what is the video that is going to be passed this is nothing but the selected video but what happens when a user has not yet selected a video so we should handle that case as well so for that we are going to use the ng if structural directive and then we are going to say if there is a selected video only then display the video detail component so now that we are passing the selected video as an input to video detail let's go to video detail and display the details so in video detail in the typescript file first we are going to specify that there is an input so input there's a video and then in the HTML so let's go back over here in video detail component HTML display the video title the video URL and the video description all right now our application is ready to test so first let's build this and then refresh the browser let's go back to command prompt ng build so now let's go back to the browser and refresh this so now if you see the video detail component is not displaying anything at the moment but when I click on a particular video we see that the title which is title 1 the URL which is URL 1 and then the description which is DESC 1 is being displayed when I click on title 2 the corresponding details are displayed and similarly title 3 and then title 4 so let me explain the flow one more time so that you get a better understanding of how all this works so let's let's start from scratch let's go back to video center component dot HTML sorry let's go back to video list component dot HTML so over here when we click on a particular video we call the on select method passing in that particular video so in video center in video list dot component dot ts over here we have the on select method so when this particular method is called it fires an event which is called select video and then it passes the video that was clicked now in video center component dot html we capture the select video event and call the handler on select video passing in dollar event now this dollar event is going to give us access to the video that was passed now this select video let's go back to video center component dot ts all right this is the definition so when we get a video from the event we capture it and assign it to a selected video property so now that we have the video that was clicked in video center we pass it as an input so we pass it as an input to the video detail component and also we need to make sure that the video detail is displayed only when there is a selected video so we use ng if to display the detail details only when there is a selected video so all right now we are passing in the video as an input to video detail and we are accessing the video title the url and the description so that is how the, these values are being displayed all right I know that was a bit complicated but you will get the hang of it once you start writing your own code now in the next video let's format this detail component and try to make use of two-way data binding to make all the fields editable so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video